All right, hey, how's it going? I'm Das Valdez. I actually run the Kerbal Space Academy. We actually have live streams online on Twitch.tv every single night. What we do is we teach a game called Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal Space Program is actually inspired by actual orbital mechanics and rocket science. So it's got a little bit of a learning curve slash wall. And so a lot of people pick it up and they say, wow, there's no way I can play this game. It's too difficult. As it turns out, nobody says they can't be a special forces sniper or a race car driver or a fighter pilot, but they still play those games. So we exist to show people that they can pretend to be a rocket scientist in playing Kerbal Space Program. Every night, we have a different stream. We have a different like curriculum that we go through. And we teach you everything you know to succeed in Kerbal Space Program. Everything from it's my first rocket launch, I've never even been into space, I've never got a circular orbit, all the way up to a moon landing, interplanetary missions, landing on our Mars analog, which is Duna, our Jupiter analog, which is a uh, jewel, actually. You can't land there, is why I stuttered for a second. But what we do is try to prove to people that you can have fun playing games. And while you're having fun playing the games, you can be entertained, you can be excited about things like space and science and STEM and fashion, all that sort of stuff, too. And you can also learn some stuff. Now, we're not sitting here having people dissolve, uh, derive Tlovsky's rocket equation. We teach you kind of the basics of it, the concepts, not the extreme intricate math, because it is orbital mechanics. We also upload all of our classes to YouTube. We live stream on Twitch, but after a couple weeks, we'll actually archive them off to YouTube. So if you didn't catch an entire class or you don't have time, you're like in the wrong time zone or something like that, you can go to our YouTube channel and you can catch every class we've ever done. We also have the Twitch TV classes. They typically happen at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every weeknight. And then every other Saturday we do a boot camp. The real kicker, every other Sunday we run what's called Kerbal Help Desk. Kerbal Help Desk, you can bring your rocket in. You can tell us the problems you're having. I'll load it up into the game on the stream. We'll debug it in real time. I'll talk about what's working, what's not working, and we'll help you accomplish your missions. We also love it when people bring their mission successes back to our channel. Anytime we're live, if you bring us screenshots that you've uploaded to Imgur or somewhere like that and post them up in our chat, we will all give you a big congratulations because it feels really good. It doesn't matter if it's your first orbit or you have an ISS that you've taken to Jupiter. Whatever you accomplish in the game, it really is a huge accomplishment because you're doing the same sorts of stuff that NASA and ESA do every day. So another thing we do in Kerbal Space Program is replicate real world missions. When NASA tested the Orion launch using the Delta IV Heavy, we did the same thing in Kerbal Space Program. We had the same sort of mission profile, the same sort of goals, it was an unmanned mission, and we talked through some of the same sort of things that NASA had to solve and things that they did to actually make the rocket work. Another thing that we do is we'll service Capcom. If you're a streamer on Twitch, or if you're a YouTube channel content creator, you can actually communicate with Kerbal Space Academy, and one of our instructors can serve as Capcom for you. We'll get on TeamSpeak, we'll get on Skype, we'll get on a call, and while you're recording, we could be talking with you, telling you about the game, helping you solve some of the problems, basically just serving as your support so that you can accomplish things in your video or in your stream, those sorts of things. It's so much fun to do. I mean, at the end of the day, we're learning rocket science, we're learning a little bit of physics, but we're playing games and having fun, and that's a very powerful thing. Killing Kerbals. Exactly. Killing Kerbals and Killing Kerbals, you're right. <laughs> Excellent. We're also here at South by Southwest Gaming Expo, and we've got an entire booth here. We've got instructors, I've got an instructor thing on there, and I've got instructors that are actually walking around, playing the game, and helping other people play the game. We've got a demo running up behind me here. We've got a couple computers where anybody can sit down and try the game. We've got scenarios. You can try to land a plane on the runway. You can try a lunar landing. You can launch your first rocket. We've got the Delta IV Heavy that we've replicated in Kerbal Space Program. We've got a lot of stuff going on, but really, we want to prove to people that just like you can be a sniper or a rocket pilot, or a rocket pilot, you can be a rocket pilot, just like you can be a sniper or a special forces person or a race car driver or whatever, you can also run a space program. You just need a little bit of help and then you'll have lots of stuff to accomplish in Kerbal Space Program.